13-year-old Ardmore boy has died after his ATV crashed into a post last night. News 12's Jory Vaughn tells us how one organization is aiming to prevent and decrease fatal ATV accidents. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol reports the teen was flown to the hospital after his ATV crashed into an H post on Valley Ranch Road, where he later died from his injuries. Mike Klump with ATV Ride Safe Oklahoma says this fatal crash is one of hundreds across the country, with Oklahoma ranking 10th in ATV and UTV fatalities. They're not toys. Uh, they are very powerful machines, even those small youth machines too out there. Klump says he sees dozens of ATV accidents every year in his time working with Bethany Children's Hospital and with Ride Safe Oklahoma, and that it's important to remember the rules of safety before riding. If you're going to be operating an ATV or a side-by-side, -side, you need to wear a DOT compliant helmet. You need to have long sleeve shirt on, long pants and boots as you operate that machine and eye protection too. He says ATVs and side-by-sides are equipped with low-pressure off-road tires, which could make them more dangerous on paved roadways. When you put an ATV low-pressure tire on a, on a hard paved surface and you go to turn, that tire can stick and grab and cause that machine to, to actually flip real easily. He says Ride Safe Oklahoma is dedicated to the mission to prevent accidents before they happen. It only takes a moment for something to go wrong. And uh, it does. It's, it's that time you don't put that helmet on. It's that time you, you know, you, you get on that machine and, and like you say, you don't buckle your seatbelt. Uh, that's when something goes wrong. In Ardmore, Jury Vaughn, News 12.